Hi, my name is Mr. Rand. I've been teaching at Golden High School since 1999. I teach in the Engineering and Technology Department. The classes I teach are Aerospace Engineering, Biotech Engineering, Civil Engineering Architecture, Digital Electronics Robotics, and 3D Solid Modeling Computer dra Aided Drafting. What I like to do is have fun with my students, teaching them useful knowledge, skills, and abilities that can lead to a satisfying career. My classes are very little lecture and much more hands-on where you design, build, and test your projects to see how well they work. Sometimes you'll get to cooperate with other students to do problem solving, and sometimes you get to have your projects compete against those of other students. In the Google Classroom, I will have my syllabus with email address, office hours, etc. Hopefully, we'll be having classes in, in the school building the entire year. But if not, we'll make some changes and still learn a lot and have lots of fun. Now I, now I will show you what we typically do in my classes. For the aerospace engineering class, it's a year-long class. We design, build, and test fly gliders, commercial airliners, your favorite plane helicopter, mini helicopter, water rocket, compressed air rocket. Um, this is the airy glider that we design on software from NASA. And once you design multiple iterations on the computer, you go ahead and launch, uh, build an actual BALSA model and launch it to see if it matches what you did on the computer. This is powered free flight planes. We also do this competition at TSA Technology Student Association State Engineering Competitions. We do airfoil design on the computer. Uh, we simulate it and test it in the wind tunnel. I have a $5,000 wind tunnel that we tested in. We also make the airfoils on the 3D printer and test those. We do compressed air rockets. These go over a home run distance. Uh, maybe if I got a grant someday, that's an F-22 Raptor. We design, build, and test fly Estes-type chemical rockets. Um, we do an alpha rocket and then a rocket of your choice. We do uh, wing section design, build test competition to see how much your wing section will hold on the $3,000 structural stress analyzer. We do an airfoil design, build test competition, flight simulator, combat flight simulator, RC remote control aircraft, Mars lander robot mission with VEX and Parallax robots. Sometimes we don't have time to do all of these, but we do most of these. We do water, water rockets. Uh, here are some examples of the water rockets we've done in the past. These will go very high, and we do these based on how long they hang in the air. They have parachutes. Here's some Estes solid fuel rockets. More solid fuel rockets. Uh, we do remote control aircraft. We've got helicopters, drones, blimps. Uh, students bring in their own remote control aircraft. We do, sometimes we do a Mars lander robot uh, where we do programming coding to have the robot either solve a maze or go through an obstacle course. And then I'm going to skip through that really quickly and go to... Digital Electronics Robotics, it's a year-long class which covers most or all of the following topics. Uh, learn Circuit Maker app that you can download on your home, uh, your PC at home for free, or we also use other online circuit apps. We learn analog electronics, digital logic gates, parallax robots, VEX robots, programming, coding, soldering, Maxitronics 301 circuit labs, Arduino Electronics Robotics that you uh, do the programming and coding on. The robot has wheels and you can have it do all kinds of different things with sensors and obstacle courses and mazes. Um, we do take home projects where you choose the one you like, stimulate it on the circuit maker uh, simulator, breadboard it, solder it, and you keep the project, you get to play around with it in class and you keep it, you take it home and it's yours to keep. Uh, we do 301 Electronic Lab, Maxitronics. Um, you actually, instead of just doing worksheets, you actually build the circuit and then test it to see how it works. 
uh, coding programming. This is a little bit different than the coding they do for uh, website design. This is actually to make a robot do what you want it to do. But the concepts are very similar and there's a lot of transfer of uh, knowledge for this. Um, VEX robots, Arduino robots, and the competitions, the, the things that we do in class um, transfer over to Technology Student Association state competitions for animatronics or for best robotics. There's all kinds of different competitions you can go to and, and uh, earn awards that can help you get into colleges. The take-home projects, here's an example of a LED cube that we do. Um, students can pick this project or other projects. Um, this project right here is called, it's a, it's a uh, cell phone charger. This one right here is what's called an aggravator. And you build this and put it in, into uh, someone's room you don't like, perhaps a sibling. And when they turn the light out, it has a photoresistor to see when the light is on. And it'll wait six seconds after the light is off and it'll scream at them. And then it'll wait six seconds and scream again. And when they turn the light on to see what's making this horrible noise, it'll get really quiet because it knows the light is on. So then we have all these books of electronic circuits, circuits for the evil genius. Uh, we do quadcopters as take-home projects. This is a uh, rubber band machine gun that shoots 64 rubber bands in about, oh, uh, four seconds. Then I'm going to skip through this really quick and get to the 3D solid modeling. So 3D solid modeling class, it's a year-long class. It's offered every year. Um, there's certification available for uh, for college credit uh, through Colorado School of Mines, and they also have um, certifications through SolidWorks. It's called the CSWA and CSWP, Certified SolidWorks Associate and Professional certifications that you can take to go get a job. Uh, we do sketching and single view drawings, uh, multi-view drawings, 3D drawings, isometrics, we do most of the work on SolidWorks. Uh, if we're not able to meet in person, we'll be doing it on Onshape. Um, create computer sketches, features, parts, assemblies, drawings, simulations for these projects. And uh, we make physical projects with the laser engraver, the 3D printer, the CNC mill. Here are some examples of projects that have been done, the car and the maze. Uh, the BB maze is kind of nice. You design it however way you want, and then we make it on one of the 3D modeling machines. You put it in a BB and you can just twist it around and, and use it to solve the maze. Um, here's some more examples of mazes that students have made. Um, we also do dimensioning, section views, detail views, auxiliary views. Uh, alternate position views, projected views, break-in views, broken out sections, creating parts, assemblies, drawing simulations, and some take-home projects. Here's some example of projects that have been done, uh, other projects that students have done. A lot of students like to do the laser cutter, the 3D solid modeling, the uh, 3D printing, and the CNC mill. And as I said before, the um, syllabus and more information about the classes will be on the Google Classroom. If you have any questions, just let me know.